Hi there, my name's Molly and I'm a member of the Data School's 18th cohort of the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a parameter to swap measures or dimensions used in a chart. This will allow your user to change the measure or dimension they are viewing themselves and helps you save space in your dashboards. So let's jump right into Tableau and get started. So here I have a line chart showing the sum of sales over time. Now I want to give the user the ability to view the profit over time as well. So I'm going to use a parameter to set up this functionality. Now I'm using the sample Superstore dataset in this example provided by Tableau, if you'd like to follow along. So firstly, I'll create the parameter. So I'll navigate to the top left hand side of my screen, select the drop down and create parameter. Now I'm going to give it a sensible name. I'm going to call this select measure. Now I want the options in this parameter to read sales or profit, which are both strings. So I'll select the string option in this first drop down. Now towards the bottom where it says allowable values, I want this to be a list. Now I can see two columns here. Um, the first column will contain the string that will get used in the calculation. And the second column is what the user will see in the parameter that itself. So I'll start by typing in sales on the left hand side and I can see that Tableau automatically generates my display and I'll do the same for profit as these are the two options that I want in my parameter. So now that's been set up correctly I'll select OK and I can see the parameter in the bottom left hand side of my screen. So now we need to set up how we're going to use this, this parameter in our view. And we'll do that by setting up a calculated field. However, before I move on to the calculation, I like to show the parameter options on the screen by selecting the parameter and selecting show parameter, which I can now see has appeared in the top right hand side of my screen. Changing this then to a single value list allows me to see all the options that I set up in the parameter configuration which is especially useful if I have lots and lots of different options here, which will be useful when I'm building my calculation. So I can see at the moment my parameter is not doing anything. So let's move on to build out the calculated field. So I'll navigate again to the top left hand side of my screen and select create calculated field. Now I'll call this um, select measure parameter. And I'm going to set this up using a case statement. So I'm going to say case, and then I'll reference the parameter itself. So I'll just drag that directly into the window. And I'm going to say when the parameter is set to sales, then give me sales. But when the parameter is set to profit, then give me profit. Great, so these are the two options in my parameter that I can see in the top right hand side and I'm referencing the two fields in my data. So I'll click OK and I can now see the parameter in the left hand side of my screen. So now I want to use this parameter to update my rows. So I'll simply drag this and replace the sum of sales that's currently on my rows. Now, it doesn't look like much has happened, but let's test it out and see if it's worked. So in the top right hand side, I'll select profit and I can now see my chart has updated successfully. Now, a few more formatting cleanup points before I finish the video. I can see the axis name um, on the left hand side of my chart is the same name as the calculated field. But I think it would be more useful is if this either said sales or profit, depending on what was selected in the parameter. So I can change this axis by simply dragging my parameter from the bottom uh, left hand side of my screen onto my row shelf. And I can now see if I change to sales, this label will update. So just to clean this up a little bit, I'll get rid of my previous axis title and I'll just format this parameter title now. I'll make it darker, maybe Tableau medium, and I'll change the alignment. And finally, I'll hide um, the row label. So now I have a working dynamic axis uh, title. But finally, I can also see when I change my parameter to profit, yes, my axis label updates, but my title doesn't. So to make that dynamic, I'll double click into the title. 
I'll remove where it says sales, navigate to insert, and I can see the parameter that I just created in this list of options. So I'll click on that and select OK. And I can now see that my title and my axis label will update with the parameter. Great, so that's our example finished. So now we've used different measures in this example, but you can also do this with dimensions using the same process. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident using parameters to swap measures or dimensions used in your charts. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love the related how-to video we've suggested by my fellow data schooler. So click on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand side of the screen to watch it next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.